Hello, and welcome to episode 40 of my Force of Nature tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on building an altar and making a hundred apple pies. Basically, we are gearing up to get to the third shard. Something else you should be doing as well is growing violets, rosemary, and salvia. You need to get, I would recommend getting at least a hundred of each because we are going to need lots of herbal tea. Um, you know, there's going to bound to be more things that are poisonous than scorpions. So look to try and get at least 50 to 100 herbal teas. So you can see I've got a bit of work to do, but that is something that I'm working on now. Anyway, though, we want to do some apple pies, don't we? So I want to do 100 apple pies. So if we take a look, I'm going to need, first of all, flour and water and eggs. So let's go get them. So here's 200 flour. That will make 100 um, apple pies. And there's 100 water. And also go grab the eggs. There's 100 eggs. We're going to need 200 apples. So let's have a look and see how we are doing. Okay, the last thing we need is honey and sugar. So I've got... Oops, I'm going to need, however, I'm going to need five honey to make this altar. So make sure you keep five honey or if you want to build an altar. Let's grab that sugar up. Right, okay, we should have enough now for me to make a hundred apple pies. Let's take a look. There we go, we've got everything we need. Let's select. And there we go, 100. Let's get them cooking. Okay, so while they're cooking up, let's now make ourselves an altar. And there's something I, important I wanted to show you with regards to the altar. Uh, and that is, um, let's bring it up and show you. So if you bring up the build menu by pressing B for Bravo, and then go to constructions, down this list you'll find the altar. We're going to need 40 stone, 2 gold ingots, and here's the one that I want to mention to you. So let's first grab the components we need. So we need 5 honey and 15 ash. Well, there's my honey. 15 ash. Okay. Let's have a look, what else do we need? Two gold ingots and stone. Well, you can see I've got tons of stone. And the gold ingots, I haven't got a ton of them, but I can make more as I go along. So I only need two. Okay, right, here's the important thing with the altar. With the altar, you noticed it said you need five uh, chips. Let's bring it back up and show you to emphasize what I'm trying to say. So for the altar, you need any gem chips, and you need five of them. Now, in your travels, you will have got lots of different types of chips, okay? Emerald, ruby, diamond, amethyst, and topaz. And it said you can use five chips to make the altar. How do we know, though, what one of these, which of these chips are important? And how do we know what they are important for? So what am I trying to get at here? Well, let's give you an example. When we go to level up for our next level, you will see that we need 15 onyx chips which I haven't got yet 
But for this example, what I'm trying to get across to you is, if onyx chips are important to gain this level, what's to say that the ruby, the diamond, the amethyst or the topaz aren't equally as important for something else, maybe the level after that. So, we only know so far how to get emerald chips. So what I did is I went and did lots more hunting and I've got five emerald chips to make my altar with. Why is that important? Because I'm not then using any of these other precious chips which I don't know how to get them yet. I'm using the one I do know how to get. Thereby, if I do get a nasty surprise by needing any of these, I will have them. So, there you go. Make sure you go hunting in the hot climate to get the five chips you'll need for your altar. Right, if we now have a look, let's see if we can make an altar. Yes, there we go. So I now have the materials. Let us build an altar. Where am I going to place it? Um, I have no idea where to put my altar. Uh, I believe it's for making jewellery. Let's start to branch out down this way. Let's put it just there. There we go. So we're going to have ourselves an altar and we'll take a look at what this will do for us. So yeah, I went and did loads of hunting. Wow, emerald chips don't drop often, I'll tell you that much. Uh, and they seem to tend to drop in, like I killed three gorillas and two of the gorillas after about an hour of hunting both decided to drop an emerald chip so that was cool because that was what I needed in order to finish uh, having enough for the altar okay let's see how our apple pies are doing <coughs> oh excuse me I'm so sorry I always tend to get some dust or something right when I don't want to yeah, so you can see apple pies are going to take quite a while to do. Let's go check out our, well, in fact, let's, while we're waiting for the altar and the apple pies, let's get some water. Let's harvest all the violets. the ambidextrous with these keys. Okay, let's have a look. How many have we got? So, mm, need to do one more planting, I think. So, let's replant. And then that should be enough violets to make a hundred um, purple teas. Although, I still need to grow the salvia and the rosemary so that's going to be lots of replanting as well okay that's that over here's where I'm keeping my road pilots so you see one more grow rotation and I'll have a hundred of them, then I can start the rosemary, then I can start doing the salvia. Cooking table's going good. The butter I'm storing up to make a hundred sugar, a uh, hundred chocolate I should say. Every time I walk by the apiaries I empty them out. Ah, and we have ourselves an altar. So let's look at what this can do for us. I've been very interested actually to see what the altar does. Okay, so recipes. Ah, here we go. All right, scrub all what I said about the bone chips. We looks like we now have a much easier way to get them. And we get emerald. Ah, okay, so you use five of any chips to make that particular type of chip. So we will still be hunting lots of gorillas. They are still going to be in our midst um, because we need to get emerald chips in order to make these other chips. And to get the next level, I need 15 onyx chips. So that is a ton of 
emerald chips I need to get. 15 to be exact. No, wait a minute. That'll only get me three. Oh my goodness. I'm going to need how many? So... Seventy-five. Seventy-five emerald chips in order to get that uh, fifteen onyx chips. Okay, that's a lot of chip chips. Um, but look at this. We've got some alchemy opened up to us, so we can start to not alchemy, some jewellery crafting, so we can start to make some amulets. Let's take a look at the amulet, shall we? What does the amulet of power do for us? Gives us six to our damage. Okay, what about the next one? Ten armour. Now, bear in mind, you can wear two amulets at the same time, but they can't be the same colour. So you can't have two amulets of defence, but you can have an amulet of defence and an amulet of power. Warming, minus two. And plus eight. Okay, that's for a temperature climate. I'll have to test that out before I speculate, although we do need an emerald chip for that. But that's easy enough to make, so that's cool. What was needed for the defence? I didn't even look. An amethyst, amethyst chip. This is why you need to keep all your other chips and not use them, because no doubt they're going to be for the amulets. Um, let's look at the health. Oh, check that out. Health regeneration. That will be definitely one I want to make. And I've got a ruby chip. Cool. That is fantastic. I like that. Oh, wow. Movement speed 8. Now maybe I can catch them wabbits when they run. Hmm. That needs a diamond chip. And lastly, stamina regeneration. Oh, this is really cool. This is off the scales call because now I can wear an am am amulet of energy and an amulet of health. So my health and my stamina can continually regenerate a bit quicker. And I need a topaz chip. So let's hope I've got topaz. What was needed for the health? Ruby. Yeah, I have got topaz. Cool. Right, let's have a look, see what else. Right, so that's all we can make at the moment. And then it's going to progress on to making jewels and gems and then fine amulets. But we'll get to that. There, That's another episode and it's a good one. Um, but for now, I'm going to be busy doing lots and lots of hunting because I'm going to need to get the emerald chips. But I can make myself these amulets. Hmm. I would like to do them now, but for the sake of indexing, um, for people who just want to go to a particular episode to see a particular item that they're going to make. So what I'll do is I'll make the next episode Amulet of Health and Amulet of Stamina. Um, let's go check out my apple pies. Ooh, only 11 done. So I'm hoping, though, to have enough to go do an hour-long episode special later on today in order to uh, go do that. So hopefully they will keep cooking up. Flour takes so long as well. I mean, that just takes so much time, all of that. Right, let's empty out my apiaries. Grab some more water. You see how it goes. No time to stand around with any of it. Don't leave it. Keep collecting, collecting, collecting. Okay, well, I've shown the two things that I wanted to. Apple pies in the altar. We'll get to the amulets in the next episode. Or maybe 
we will build the hovel. Anyway, wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.